What is going on everyone? I'm Sir James coming to you guys with another video and for this video I want to give you guys an update as to what's going on here on the channel for the remainder of February and of course what kind of coverage I'll be doing for the month of March. I know there's one thing that you guys are looking forward to in March which is my 5k subscriber giveaway winners. But first off, I do want to go ahead and go over one thing before I get to the main subject of this video is that I did change up something in the back besides the fact that there's currently three new lighting kits back there is... For those of you who are familiar with my channel and seen my past room tour videos, you guys will notice that the white shelf that used to be here is now gone. I raised up my green screen because with the new lighting kit, um, you know, basically before when I made my, let me switch this down. Before when I make the gaming news videos uh, with the white shelf there, basically I kind of had to go down on my knees, make sure I was underneath the shelf and basically tweak everything around. And it was a bit painful, it was uncomfortable, and I didn't really have a lot of movement. I was only restricted to hand movements and I wasn't able to really move around with my body and it was kind of annoying. So now since I did that, I'm able to stand up, move around, and I do have a test video recorded. So if you guys would like to do me a favor, and check out my test video. The video is unlisted, so if you want to see it, you can click the link in the description below or the link in the comment section, and that link will take you to the unlisted video for you to check out. I do want to give you the heads up is that within that video, sorry, take some medicine and it's kind of uh, interfering with my body a bit. Um, but within that test video, I did dress up in a pirate costume, kind of had a little pirate theme background going on. The reason for that is because I was doing a big test with the camera in terms of motion moving around, seeing if there was any defects going around. And to be honest, I think the video looks spot on. I didn't I didn't notice any defects with all my moving around besides towards the end of the video where I had exited the camera on the wrong side, but that's just a minor hiccup when I should be exiting on the other side. But most likely the video will end before I leave the stage area. But um Definitely check that out. Tell me what you guys think and uh, come back to this video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the test video. Like I said, the fact that I can now move around much more freely and show more expression within my news videos is going to be a lot better than how it was before. So I'm really happy about that. Next up, I want to go over is in terms of February, basically like reviews I have coming out. As you guys know, on Saturday, I did receive an early copy of Thief on the PlayStation 4. So on Tuesday, once the embargo ends, you can expect my walkthrough and review for the game to be out. So if your guys' inboxes do end up being spammed on Tuesday morning, that is because all my videos I currently have uploaded private are scheduled to go up Tuesday morning. So just letting you guys know ahead of time. And... Another review I have coming out is for these headsets here. If you guys recall when I got the gaming PC is that they also sent me this headset to do a product review for. First off, I have to do a setup guide to show you guys how to set up with your PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4, which is honestly very simple. You just plug it into the one slot it goes in, boom, you're done. But anyways, they, you know, they basically said I need to do a setup guide, so that's what I'm going to do. So at the end of the week, I'm going to have a review for the Triton Comma Gaming headset, so definitely be on the lookout for that. These headsets retail for about $29.99 and is compatible with the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita in terms of the voice chat. You could also use it to listen to audio with your iPods and whatnot. But those are two things you guys can look forward to in terms of February. And I may do an updated room tour video now that I got a new lighting kit, switch some stuff around new PC and I think it would be nice to kind of do an update to give you guys the most recent look of my room tour video but um we'll see what happens first in terms of March here's what I pretty much got planned if you guys recall uh, beginning of the year I did a video in terms of the top five games of which I'm excited for for the year of 2014 Number five on my list was Final Fantasy 13 Lightning Returns. I do want to make a minor adjustment, so I want to switch Final Fantasy with Titanfall. So now Titanfall is number five on my list, even though it wasn't within my top five list to begin with. Because, you know, during the time, it's like I, I didn't have the PC to run it. But now I do, and I did play the beta, and the beta was fun. So... Anyways, in terms of the month of March, there's actually three games within my top five that are going to be coming out in the month of March. One of them is Titanfall. The other one is Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. And last but not least, which is a PlayStation 4 exclusive, is Infamous Second Son. So those are the three games I'm looking forward to. And those are the games that I'm going to be covering and doing a review for here on my channel. 
and I may have some other games included. So in terms of the maybes, uh, Dark Souls 2 is a maybe. Uh, the Final Fantasy HD is a maybe. And um, what was it? I think it was a Dynasty Warriors game. And I think there's another Vita game. So there's about four or five different maybes. But the main one is Titanfall, Infamous, and Metal Gear. I'm going to be doing a complete walkthrough and review. And I'm going to have that here on my channel for you guys to check out. I already know ahead of time that uh, even though Metal Gear is number one in terms of my most anticipated games, I heard that the game was under two hours long in terms of the main story, but there's a lot of side missions that you could do within the game. So I'm kind of bummed out that the game story is overall short, but like I said, I'm still excited for it. I'm a big Metal Gear fan, so I definitely cannot wait for that. And of course, you guys already know in terms of March that I'm going to be announcing the 5K subscriber giveaway in terms of the three winners. On March 10th, if you guys have not entered my giveaway, you guys have it until March 8th, which I'll put a link to the description below to the proper video to submit your entries in. But definitely pay attention because there's a bonus item in there that I'm throwing in there as well. So uh, definitely check that out if you haven't done so already. And um, I think that's pretty much it. I do want to ask you guys this though, is there any games coming out in the month of March that you would like me to try to cover if I haven't mentioned anything, if I haven't mentioned one already? Uh, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below, like for those of you with the PlayStation Vita, is there any particular Vita games that you'd like me to try to cover this year? I know there's Borderlands 2 coming out for the Vita, which I'm definitely going to be checking out. Uh, the Final Fantasy HD. And uh, there's, a, there's a lot of games coming out for the Vita right now, like a lot of bundle collections like the God of War, Sly Cooper. So the Vita is starting to get a huge library this year, which is awesome. Uh, all we need is a major price drop on the memory cards and then I'll be a lot happier. Uh, in terms of the PlayStation 4, um, pretty much whatever comes out, like any exclusive titles and whatnot. I know I am looking forward to Daylight, Dying Light. I know those aren't exclusives, but um, I mean, those are going to be some enjoyable titles. Hopefully this year we may receive some word about Tom Clancy's Division, because that's number two in my most anticipated game. And the other game within my most anticipated games of 2014 is Destiny, which I'll probably get that for the PC, because now I have a PC to run it with. So, I mean, basically there's a ton of games coming out this year. This year is going to be a good game. Um, hopefully on the Microsoft side of things, hopefully we hear something about the next Halo game. Uh, word about that the next fable game i do love fable but i don't have the xbox one system yet so who knows how i'm going to be able to play that but anyways like i said that's pretty much what i got going on just a couple reviews for this month an updated room tour video uh quite a few games for me to cover in march my 5k subscriber giveaway winners and all the typical fun stuff. But anyways, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comment section down below. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, please feel free to check out my test video that I did. And come back to this video let me know what you think in terms of the video quality. And, and let me know if you notice any defects and whatnot within the actual image itself. But once again, if you guys have any questions, leave that in the comment section below. And you guys enjoy tomorrow. In this case, it's Monday, but no one's really looking forward to Monday besides me. But... Anyways, catch you guys later. Bye.